Hello friends, this video on p-block elements part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Yes. Now with this, let's start the group 15 element. That's the main uh, thing in our chapter, right? We'll talk about the group 15 elements now. So in the group 15 element is my nitrogen family. These includes elements like nitrogen. This is my phosphorus. This is my arsenic. This is my antimony, Sb is antimony, Bi is bismuthal, right? Let me write here, nitrogen, phosphorus, this is my arsenic, this is my antimony, and this is my bismuth. Okay, these two are my non-metals, these are my metalloids, and this is a metal. This is a non-metal, these two are metalloid, and this is bismuth is a metal. Correct? This is my nitrogen family. If you talk about the occurrence, of these group 15 elements. See, nitrogen is an atmosphere. In fact, 78% by volume is my nitrogen. This one. 78% by volume in atmosphere. We have this nitrogen. Right? Atmosphere. If we talk about the crust, the earth crust, this earth crust, you see nitrogen will exist in sodium nitrate form it will also exist in uh, potassium nitrate form it is also found in plants and animals as proteins if you see these plants and animals we have something called proteins these proteins are my nitrogen so nitrogen three forms one is in the atmosphere the other in the crust in the forms of NaNO3, KNO3 and also in a living organism in the form of protein. These are the three occurrence for nitrogen. Correct? If we talk about the phosphorus, phosphorus, it occurs in the phosphate rock. Phosphate rock. It also occurs in animals and plants in the bones, in animals in the form of bones. Phosphorus is in the bones. That's why you say you have weak bones, take more phosphorus. If you talk about my uh, arsenic and antimony, arsenic and antimony, these occurs in sulfide minerals of copper, lead, so in this sulfides. So in this sulfide minerals, these uh, my arsenic and antimony exist. We talk about the bismuth, they also occur as sulfides. This is the occurrence of this nitrogen family, right? So protein in the living organism is nitrogen. My 70% by volume, my atmosphere, this atmosphere what we see has nitrogen. My earth crust also has nitrogen in the form of sodium nitrate and potassium nitrate. We talk about the phosphorus, my phosphate rock that you get from the earth crust has phosphorus. The bones in the animals has phosphorus. Correct. Let's see the nitrogen family trends now. We have seen the group P trend. Let's see the nitrogen family trends in detail now. So if you talk about the nitrogen family trend, we'll talk about the electronic configuration. We'll talk about the trends in the density of elements of the nitrogen family. We'll talk about the melting point and boiling point trends. We'll talk about the atomic and ionic radius trend. We'll talk about the ionization enthalpy trend. We'll talk about the electron negativity trend. We'll talk about the metallic character trend. We'll talk about the oxidizing and reducing agent trend. We'll talk about the oxidation stage trend. 
we'll also talk about the nature of compound strands and the chemical property strand how they behave we'll talk about all these things in the chapter let's start with the electronic configuration right so if you see the electronic configuration for group this group that is my group 15 right that is my nitrogen family it is ns2 np3 right 2 plus 3 is 5 here that is my group 15 so for nitrogen it is helium 2s2 2p3 right helium is what 1s2 so that is my trend 2s2 2p3 for phosphorus it is neon 3s2 3p3 for arsenic it is my 4s 3d10 4s2 4p3 so this is what i will look into it for my antimony it is 5s2 5p3 for bismuth it is 6s2 6p3 so you see that is my uh, general format see the electronic configuration is big one but the last one is one which is of most important so this is the format the format is ns2 np3 okay we we'll talk about the density now before we talk about density let's discuss something more in this electronic configuration so if you see here the s orbital is filled and the p orbital is half filled so i have filled s orbital and i have half filled p orbit in all these cases you see and with this you get extra stability correct and please observe something for example nitrogen there is no d orbital there is no d orbital for nitrogen correct there is no provision for d orbital but for phosphorus you see there is a d orbital 3s2 3p 3 and 3d also there is a d orbital and this is empty empty d orbital right for my arsenic I have filled the orbital. In fact, for these guys, if you see, I have filled the orbital. Right? These guys also have filled the orbital. Because 3 sp3 p something and 3d would have filled here right filled the orbital filled the orbital filled the orbital so all these guys have filled the orbital but if you see this guy has empty f orbital empty f filled in. and these are not sure i think they would have filled uh, f also but if you see from here to here will not bother much about uh, the lower elements but the good part of nitrogen is there is no d orbital with phosphorus there is empty d orbital and arsenic there is a filled d orbital empty d orbital so these three is see see there is a variation right no d orbital empty d orbital filled d orbital and with this there will be a difference in the properties we will talk about these just understand nitrogen there is no d orbital no d orbital phosphorus there is an empty d orbital and arsenic there is a filled d orbital just Remember these three, right? There is no d orbital, there is a d orbital that is empty, and there is a filled d orbital, right? Three things. And why there is no d orbital? Because two, this is the two series, right? And two series don't have any d orbital. Let's talk about the trend in the density. So density increase as we go down the group. For example, this one has a density of Nitrogen has a density of 0.879 gram per centimeter cube at this temperature to 98 Kelvin. If you go down the group, phosphorus, the density increase 1.8. Arsenic is all the more increased 5.7 gram per centimeter cube. Antimony is all the more increased. So if you go down the group, the density increase. 
right? Density is mass by volume. So if we go down the group, the volume increase, but mass increase all the more, right? More increase and volume is less increase. So end of the day, mass by volume, total value increase and thus the density increase as we go down the group. Right, if you see here, 7, 15, 23, this is how the mass increase, 51, 83. And the size also increased, but the increase in size is little less. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.